laptop right over here and just connect you in a keyboard. So you well, I'm see. live now, so. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, um, but thank you though. So we are here. We are uh, testing this out. Um, check it out for me, babe, on, test it out for me on Instagram. I'm officially going live on Instagram now too. Hey y'all, hey creators, if we are over on the tube team, coming through, showing some love. We still troubleshooting some things, so um, bear with me. I'll probably timestamp a little bit of this stuff for y'all. But uh, let me go back to StreamYard. That's actually what I'm what I'm using for this live stream, which is super exciting. They officially have both, where you can you can live stream on Instagram and YouTube. So that's a new feature that I've been like waiting on for so long. So this is uh, really great. But yeah, let me know how y'all doing in the chat. Let me know if y'all here, uh, if y'all can hear me. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just pretty much doing like a little check-in, a hangout with y'all. Um, sending much love to the Tube team and the Graham fam. Oh, we got Ra in the house. Hey, Ra. Oh, it is so good to see your picture on the screen. Okay, um, this is actually in honor of you. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing a live stream uh, for the patrons. We have another one of my incredible patrons here, Pamela. Hey, Pamela. Hey, hey. We get Tam, who's here. Tam, I, I was just replying to some of your comments on YouTube. So glad you are here. We got Johnny in the house. Hey, Johnny. Oh, great. I'm so glad you are here. Um, thank you. We got Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Yes, some more patrons in the house. Welcome, welcome, y'all. Uh, this stream is dedicated to my patrons, okay? So if you are watching on Instagram, um, I'm really, I need to figure out how I need to see the Instagram chat because <laughs> that's, that's a little, a little new that they said. So um, let's see, I might have to, oh, there it is on, on Instagram. Hey, Hey, y'all, we got Bernice Watson. Uh, we got Sean in the house over there on Instagram. Amora Blessing. Oh, hey, Amora. Are you always showing love on the gram? Uh, we got Naya. Naya Love by, is it Shy? Like Shy Town? Okay, where I'm from. I love it. Let me minimize this, y'all. This is still a little bit of a new setup for me. So we vibing out. Um, so glad that y'all are here with me. Happy uh, spring. It is officially happening, y'all. Um, oh, you said you've been viewing my content for a while now. Oh, thank you. That means so much. I'm always honored whenever y'all say that I'm a I'm an inspiration. I'm like me. Look, <laughs> little old me out here out here doing a damn thing. That means so much. Um, yes, Rob, we have missed you as well. So just to give everybody an update, this stream is brought to you all by my patrons. Uh, over there on Patreon. And so I made a post over on, what was it? YouTube, the community tab, saying for the past three plus years, uh, we have been doing create dates over there with the patrons. So that was on Zoom uh, with some of the patrons that were in a particular tier. And I just slowly sort of phased that out over time and had let the patrons know. So we were sort of counting down. We was like, okay, last, we had, we had three left, we had two left, one left. Um, and, and officially we are here now. So moving forward, the plan is for me to check in just about every quarter. I'm thinking like maybe every season change, I'll just come live here on uh, YouTube as well as Instagram and just say hey to the folks who have been supporting and showing my channel love as well as showing my art love. And so yeah, it's always so great. Um, just like connecting with y'all like on a, on a live. So even though I did transition away from doing those on Patreon, uh, after talking to the patrons, talking to Ra, and, and Ra actually like part of even your message, I was like, oh, and just like, I really wanna make sure that all my patrons are seeing some of the posts and some of the notifications, but I know how to I know how to Patreon notifications can be. Like I'm probably a patron of about 20 creators on YouTube uh through Patreon and I barely be looking at those Patreon posts. So I get it. Okay, I get it. We got MJ in the house. Hey, hey. I was just replying to your comments as well. The sassy cinephile. Also notice look MJ the the bookworm. I love seeing your comments. It means the world. Um Oh, hey Stephanie, glad you are making it. You said this is your first live. 
Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's I try to bring some of the good vibes. You know, there's so much going on in the world. Uh, that's the least that we can do is try to stay positive in the midst of it all. Uh, over on Instagram, too, you said love your vibe. Great personality coming through. Oh, that means so much. Thank you. C Niche is a C Niche 1130. Uh, so I'm going to kind of be bopping around between Instagram and YouTube. But if you are watching the live on Instagram, I highly suggest y'all join me on YouTube. I've really been growing an incredible community over there. And um, if you are on Instagram, you can find that link in my bio. You can join me over here on YouTube. because That's really where I'm going to be focusing some of my attention. Um, Kristen's in the house. I love you back, Kristen. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. Y'all, I am so glad to see y'all names in the chat, vibing out. So pretty much the goal is to do one of these live streams every quarter. Mark your calendar for the next one. It's going to be June 20th at 6 p.m. Uh, Standard Time. Well, Pacific Standard Time. Let me know where y'all at. What, uh, what cities? What states? Who do we have here with us? Where y'all calling in from? Okay, chatting in from. Uh, many of y'all probably know definitely if you follow my YouTube channel um, that I'm in Seattle, Washington, okay, the Pacific Northwest. And so I know I have quite a bit of East Coast folks. So thank y'all for st look, staying up late with me, okay? Around 9, 10 o'clock, I'll be, I be, I be ready to shut it down. So East Coast, shout out to y'all. Yes, New York in the house, M. Riley. Oh, so glad you're here with me. Thank you for staying up late, okay? <laughs> it's uh, coming up, it's about 6, 11 here and so... I know it is layer over there for you. Um, Amor, you said, love the sweatshirt. Thank you. Look, y'all know the moon. She's always tapped into the moon. Okay, yes, the full moon uh, sweater. I actually got this at a local, um, it was like a festival event out in Seattle years ago. I feel like I wear this all the time in so many vlogs. <laughs> I'm like, girl, it's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade the wardrobe. You be wearing the same damn thing, okay? San Diego in the house. Okay, West Coast is joining me. Cali, I love it, Stephanie. Atlanta is here. Okay, ATL. I feel like I have so many Atlanta followers on YouTube. Let me know on, on Instagram where y'all tuning in at so I can uh, vibe out with y'all. Okay, Houston is in the house over there on Instagram. New York as well, Bernice. I love it. I love it. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, over there on Instagram. Let me know where y'all at, what city... Uh, what city state that y'all are in um we were saying that san diego is in the house yes danielle coming through new york as well okay the capital region i love it minneapolis okay pamela yes yes okay and right is ms now is that mississippi like i'd be freaking like there's so many ways to abbreviate the states i'd be forgetting to tell you the truth tam maryland is in the house i love it Christian, you said what wine? You know, this is a cab. Babe, you're going to have to bring, bring me the bottle. Um, Andy found this wine, y'all, at one of the liquor stores. It is wine with the alcohol removed. Okay, talk about technology. They got, all, they got the vegan meat, the vegan fish. Now they have wine with alcohol removed, y'all. I'm trying to be a better me, okay? Um, and thank you. So Andy don't be, don't be want to drink with me, y'all. I be like, come on, babe. So I feel like I don't want to open up a full bottle of wine anymore. I feel like we just be wasting so much of it. So he got me these little these little wines. It's actually alcohol free. I don't know if y'all can see it. Can y'all see it? It says with the alcohol removed. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. It's a cab. I love cabs, but um, y'all, I get to. I love a good wine. And if you are a content creator or a YouTuber in any way, then you know how much we be at the computer editing. And like a part of my ritual will be like pouring wine, it's like lighting a candle, editing my videos. And with as much as I edit, I saw that my alcohol intake was increasing. And so I said, you know what? We're going to have to pivot this. We're going to have to pivot. So I am drinking a wine. It is alcohol free though. Um, and yeah, so if there's anybody out there who's trying to do a, um, okay, Brian's in the house drinking you drinking wine as well shout out to, to brian um we also stream it on facebook so if we got any of the facebook friends throw it in the chat for me um right chris ain't that crazy <laughs> okay <laughs> look bond is like wow cool i love it right um yes you said took a took a break from my show to see how you're doing oh that means so much amora thank you thank you so much um yeah tell me more about your show do we also have some artists here in the house 
Let me know what y'all are up to. You should definitely give it a try. Okay. I've been trying to minimize. Y'all, I get to the pandemic. The pandemic really, really brought me to another level of alcohol consumption that I had to check. Okay. We had to, we had to check it. You know, it tastes interesting. Hmm. Good question, Kristen. It honestly just tastes like grapefruit juice, but like with a little twang, like a little, you know, it's like, okay, this isn't just like purple drink. It got a little something in it. So I feel like they, I feel like they, for them to even say like alcohol removed wine, I think that they actually go through the full process of making it a wine. And then, you know, when you cook with wine, you sort of cook out the alcohol. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, it tastes like grapefruit juice, Kristen, with a little bit of hint of something else in there. So, you know, it has the it, it has the tannins of wines. I did want to come back up to the chat, though, because Brian did ask about, um, <laughs> thanks, you mentioned my, my moon shirt as well. I love it. Okay, St. Paul is in the house. Hey there, 7 Ari. Hey, hey. Uh, we got Rachel's here. Hey, Rachel. I did miss some folks here in the chat. Um, you said, do I have any more beautiful paintings? Thank you for asking. Um, I do have a few. Look at me looking around. Like, <laughs> I do have something. I have my tiger painting here. It's called Tiger's Eye. Taurus is behind me. But um, I do have quite a bit of originals available that is actually up at my solo exhibit that is called Once Upon a Space Time. It's at, it's at Art Noir, um, which is a gallery here in the Central District. So if we do have some folks in Seattle. Do we have any Seattle folks? I feel like we got everybody from the East Coast. Uh, we got Callie's in the house. Do we got any Seattle folks who's joining me today? Tori's in the house. Hey, Tori. Texas is here. Okay, Florida as well. I love it. Do we got any, any Seattle folks? If you are in Seattle, then you can see some of the originals that I have available up at the gallery. Um, that show is going to be on display until May 5th. Super excited about that show. So, yeah, if you are curious about any originals, um, that would be a, a great place to check out. Um, but I also have other prints. Um, greeting cards, clutches, journals, a few different things available on my shop. And all that stuff is available at the description of this video. Or if you watch on Instagram, it's at the link in my bio. Um, I love it. I love it. Oh, you said, okay, Brian, you said Taylor Wines. I'm going to have to give them a try. I love it. Okay, Stephanie, you're an artist as well. Love it. You say you're working on a painter right now. I love it. Okay, sending you the creative energy the good creative vibes and frequencies um i just uploaded a video on youtube as well talking about the creative affirmations video i love that so many folks have been watching and listening to that video and so yeah if there are any more artists and creators out there i got a creative affirmations video uh, i see in the comments people be saying that they listen to that video while they're creating i love that i love that and Bon, you said you are a freelance artist and you paint it live today on okay on instagram that's super dope. I love it, y'all. Like, Instagram, I feel like I've kind of been a little MIA on a gram these days, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Um, Jasmine, actually, speaking of Instagram, we're coming back over. Oh, and Jazz is in the house. Hey, Chase and Joy with Jazz. Look, Jazz has been holding me down, one of our dear collectors. Um, so it's it's so good to see your name in the chat. Jazz, hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying all the paintings that you have of mine. It just, like, makes me so happy. Um, okay, Jasmine, yeah, you said you're an artist and you just got your first studio residency of the year. Congratulations. That is amazing. Thank you, Bernice, as well, for sharing congratulations love with Jasmine. That is so dope. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Yeah, I love that, y'all. Like, let's share any wins y'all got in the chat. I think that would be so good to have, like, some high vibe frequency going on. Um, ooh, what happened to my chat over here on... Uh, YouTube. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Or do they, do they, if I minimize it, do they take away my comments? There we go. They're back. <laughs> I was like, I was on a roll. Um, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. But y'all can definitely check out any of, um, my prints and stuff. Those are available in the shop. But like, let's keep sharing good news. I love it. I love it. Um, this is us. Oh, you know, I was... I heard about that show. You said it's the best TV show ever written, huh? Okay, I'm going to have to give it a try. I'm going to have to give it a try. Wait, now, is it is it the one called Us? Or is it called Them? Were y'all Did y'all hear about that like horror show or something? Was it Us or Them? One of them. I wonder if that's the same one. Okay, 
Rachel, you say you working on an iPad, making a mock-up for a mural. Oh, I love it. See, technology, okay? It makes it so helpful to do like a digital mock-up before you actually get to the wall. That's beautiful. Okay, you started painting in your house this weekend. Let me know what colors you're using. That sounds fun. Y'all remember, I was working on painting the kitchen in the in the house. I ended up painting that wall white. I said, girl, you're doing the most. I was That wall had literally had swatches on it for a year and a half. I finally painted it white, okay? It's been a journey. It's been a journey. Yes, yeah, stars in the house. Hey, star. I'm so glad you caught a live too. You're always showing love in the comment section on YouTube. And so I definitely recognize your name. Thank you for being here. Um, ooh, working on a woman, women in silence collage series. That sounds incredible. Ooh, tell me more, M. Riley. I would love that. Sounds like that's up my vibe. That is up my vibe. Okay, you say you cooking? All right, I love it, Sassy. Okay, you said your, your art's taking a bit of a back seat right now because you're trying to move out of the country next month. I get it, you know, and I have I definitely hear about, like, honoring the seasons we in, right? You know, we see different things on YouTube about, like, oh, painting every day or, like, creating, sketching or doing something every day. But in reality, when we are in transition, sometimes that's not feasible. So I feel it. What you cooking? Girl, look, what you, what you, what you cooking? Let me know. I'm making spaghetti tonight, y'all. Okay, look, it's easy. Just throw them, throw them noodles in the water and keep it moving. Okay. Let me know what you what you cooking, Sassy. Um, oh, the cream cherry wine. Okay, Brian. Um, I feel like I probably am behind on the on the chat. Y'all know how it how it be a little bit of a delay. Oh, hey Siobhan is in the house. Hey Siobhan, hey Siobhan. Yes. Okay, look, thanks for the hairdo. Y'all, if you if y'all saw the recent video, the curls have officially fallen. Okay. The curls were tight. Can we say tight in that vlog? Let me know if y'all saw it. Um, the curls were tight. They have fallen. Sometimes it just take a little time, you know, but I'm glad. I'm so glad to see your name, Siobhan. Thank you for coming to the opening reception as well. Y'all, speaking of Siobhan, she is one of the OG patrons, A1 since day one. She came out to the opening reception that we had at Art Noir. Uh, for the folks who are just joining us, welcome. Okay, welcome again, y'all. I'm Aramis Hamer. Y'all probably know that by now, but... Uh, for the folks who are joining me for the first time on YouTube, I'm an artist working out in Seattle, Washington, and I'm just vibing with y'all. I used to do uh, Zoom calls every month with my patrons over there on Patreon, and so we have uh, retired that, and now I'm just checking in about every quarter over here on YouTube and Instagram and seeing what the folks are up to. Usually, I do paint on these. I was a little bit behind this week, so I say, you know what? I'm just going to show up. At the end of the day, it's sometimes just about showing up, okay? And letting the folks know that you're here and you see them. Hey, Brianna, now, glad you are here with us. Welcome, welcome. Um, just sort of just doing like another little recap. Okay, Seb, you said you just finished up a painting, six by six. Nice. Ooh, the Aqua Duo water soluble oils. Okay, I'm going to have to learn about those. Y'all, the stuff that they are creating, like just with all the new mediums is incredible. Um, if y'all watch the vlogs, then you probably know I love golden acrylic paints. And now they have like the open medium where you can slow them down and they behave a little bit more like um, oils. So I wonder if these water solubles, Ari, that you're using, do they behave more like acrylics since they're water soluble? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm curious. Um, hey, Erica. Oh, okay. You make some cheesy chicken spinach pasta. That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. I don't eat meat, but with the spinach in there. Look, okay? I'm here for the greens. Um, welcome, Erica. Hey, it's good to see your name in the chat. Okay, I heard them was a little hard one. Little difficult to watch. I hear you. At least I found it a bit. Yeah, you know, my friend, shout out, shout out to my girl, Kamari. Um, she know how stuff sits in my shondo, okay? It sits in my spirit for too long. She said, yeah, girl, no. Don't watch them. It'll be, it'll be, it'll get, like, you know how sometimes, like, especially as, like, a visual person, like, a visual artist, things can really get under my skin and stay there. And that's why I had to stop watching Black Mirror, y'all. Have, have y'all been watching Black Mirror? I had to hang it up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> the visual imagery was too much. I love it. Look, Pamela, shout out to, to Siobhan. Okay, look, the patrons in the house. I love it. Um. Okay, right. Okay, yes, yes. Them is a is a series. Yep, that's what that's what she was saying. She said, "Don't do it." <laughs> okay, she said, "Don't do it." I know I'm probably behind in the chat, y'all, but like, keep on vibing in there. I'm a 
I'm gonna get I'm gonna get caught up. I love seeing what y'all are doing. Um, anybody else cooking right now? Look, let me know what y'all cooking. Yes, thank you, Siobhan. Thank you so much. Y'all, I got I got quite a few. For my folks who are on Instagram, let me go back to Instagram. I feel like I've been sort of hanging out mostly on YouTube. So if you are watching on Instagram, join me over here on uh, YouTube. That's really where I have the, the big screen open and I'm watching the chat here. Um, but yes, yeah, so for the folks who... For the folks who are just joining me over here on YouTube and Instagram, um, I have my solo show that is up at Once Upon a... It's up at Art Noir. It's called Once Upon a Space Time. But for the folks who are on Instagram, I've been sharing on YouTube some of the vlogs and the behind the scenes of that process. So that's been super fun. Uh, but a lot of my patrons, like Siobhan, came out to that opening reception. And so I'm actually talking to Jasmine, who is the executive director and curator of that gallery, about doing a closing reception. I know quite a few of the folks uh, missed the opening reception. Y'all, that was, that was my fault, okay? I was so behind on, like, getting that info out. But, um... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, Daniel, I know your show is coming up, right? Okay, you said you headed to Baltimore next week for the Women of the World Poetry Slam. So my creative time has been practicing poems. I did that before the live. I love that. I am so excited for you. Sending you so much good vibes for that incredible event. You know what's crazy? Something is like on my calendar for you. I was like, Danielle's event. Like, it's been on my calendar because I remember one of the create dates you was telling us about um, an event that you had coming up. So is this the is this the same one? I'm glad you're practicing your poems. Okay. We all sending you so much love, y'all. Send, send Danielle some love over there on the East Coast for her poetry slam that is taking place. Um, is it Chellis? Am I, am I pronouncing your name right? I want to make sure I'm doing that. Um, you said you're not sure if I spoke on this before in one of your videos, but could you speak on gallery? I was reaching out to... I was reached out to by a gallery rep on Instagram and did pay for exhibiting. I was saying this is a common thing. Yeah, you know, that's a, um, let me, let me know, Chellis, if, if I'm saying your name right, forgive me if I'm not. Um, I am so glad you said this. And actually, I had got an email about this from another um, two team member, okay, over here on YouTube. Actually, shout out to Chris who sent me the email. Um... Y'all, there's been like a lot of sort of like scammy stuff going on on the internet when it comes down to artists as well as like content creators. Um, in the beginning of your journey, it is really great to like connect with people who are about supporting artists. There's a lot of stuff out there, especially if you reached out to people on Instagram for paying to be a part of any sort of exhibit. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Um, what I have done in the past is paying to be a part of festivals and pop-up events which is standard which is considered your your like booth fee now that's like more of a sort of retail setup so for example probably in like cities like wherever y'all at we have quite a bit of like um festivals and fairs and so there's one that's called like alki arts festival west seattle arts festival um so it's typical for vendors to pay for a booth fee now that's standard now that's different from hanging your work up at a gallery typically you aren't paying the gallery anything of anything you are sharing uh you are um sharing the price of the painting once it's sold so they'll take maybe like a uh, sort of 30% commission, 50% commission, um, which can be standard. Anything over 30 or 50% is on the higher range. I've seen it though. It, it is out there for like really, really big galleries. But I'm super grateful that Art Noir um, is actually taking a lower percentage of, of a commission for, from the gallery. So I don't recommend paying to be a part of any gallery. Um, and a lot of the stuff that people are messaging artists on via like Instagram or TikTok, y'all, a lot of that stuff you have to be careful because there's a lot of sketchy sort of scamming things going on. Um, a lot of, maybe if you are our artists as well on YouTube, you might have seen uh, Chelsea, just Chelsea Rodriguez was another artist on YouTube, shared a video talking about being, being scammed. This wasn't in the same context. I think the title was a little bit different from what actually took place, but I actually have a video on my channel where I was talking about, I actually got scammed full blown y'all. Like it was like a whole ordeal. Okay. <laughs> I think I titled it like manifestation success story or am I being scammed? I was pretty much being scammed. The whole scam didn't go through, which I was really grateful for, but I documented the whole process for artists because a lot of people, 
you know, as, as artists, we're like excited to like get our work out there and be seen. And so some people can try to take advantage of that by asking artists to pay different things. So I do not recommend that at all you all what I do recommend is building relationships with the with the people in your community in real life and then expand into to different things online but um I appreciate you for asking this question and I'm glad I had an opportunity to even talk about that because yeah <laughs> y'all like the the internet is a beautiful place like where we all able to connect from time and regions all over the world but at the same time there's a lot of heavy energies who be trying to take advantage of folks. So definitely be careful um, out there. Um, I love this. I'm so behind on the chat, but I'm, I'm loving that we have in like the full, the full conversation. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, beautiful. Yeah, okay. That is incredible, Amora. This was connected to, I think the show you mentioned earlier in the comments, which is, is it the, the Women in Silence? Um, it's really beautifully written into it. Oh, the, the movie. Okay, yeah, them, them. Okay, got you, got you. Um, oh, nice. Yes, I definitely work with acrylics as well. All right, all right, ain't they the best? Look, I love Golden. <laughs> um, I actually went to their teaching artists. It was a teaching artist program that they had in New Orleans. I have so much footage from that too. And like, I never even shared that stuff. Maybe I'll do like a behind the scenes and, um, and kind of like show y'all some of the footage from the teaching training that I did in New Orleans with Golden. They have so much stuff. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna grab this too, like especially for y'all. This will, this will be fun. Um, hey, Aaron, thank you for being here. You said, will you ever dive back into mural painting? That's a great question. I hope I'm not too late on replying to that. Okay, you submitted that 623. Um, maybe, maybe. I sort of, I sort of ebb and flow. <laughs> sort of ebb and flow y'all with, with murals um I think I will I love painting murals I love painting large I really enjoy that the community is able to enjoy a mural versus like there's there's sort of these there's so many different pockets of the art world right like you got the sort of fine art world the museums the galleries then you have more like community events like festivals and pop-ups then you have more like retail like retail things where you hang in your artwork up at cafes or um I actually have a vlog coming up where I'm sharing where I'm showing my work at a gallery and then the next day I, I take my work up to a coffee shop okay so I do both sides you know and so murals is one of the spaces where I really got my start in art um and really building my audience and building my community was sharing my art in a public way and murals granted me that opportunity but murals is pretty it's intense it can be it can be a lot on a body if I'm being real um Mr. Terrell hey 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 beautiful sunflower back at you checking in with the folks on um Instagram as well if you are watching on Instagram come on over here and join me on YouTube that link is available in my bio I'm mostly vibing and chatting with the folks over here on YouTube um yeah, murals is a lot on the body, okay, Erin? <laughs> um, but I'm so grateful for all the different opportunities that I got to uh, <laughs> share through. I love that. We still, we still try to figure out us versus them. With this. I love this, Amora. I love this. This is great. Um, oh, my God, Rob, this makes me so happy. You said you got the vegan book. Have you been making the recipes? Let me know. Let me know. You said you, I was trying to pull it up on the screen so the folks can know what we talk about. Uh, for the folks who lives, listen in the back, y'all, I had, in one of the live streams, I shared with the community a vegan cookbook and Ross said that she got it. So that makes me so happy. Oh, I love that. I am so um, confused on the chat. Like I'm kind of, I'm like out of order at this point, but um, okay. Yeah, Brian, you asked, do I use oil pastels? I don't, I don't really use oil pastels a lot. Um, I love them. I love seeing when other people use them. I'm just not really a fan of those like little roly polies that they make. You know, like when you get to drawing with oil pastels, I feel like it kind of gets, I was going to say messy, but I'm like, really girl, you be throwing paint. In this <laughs> really? You are not concerned about making a mess, but I just don't like those. Like they just, they get stuck on the side of your hand and you rub your hand and it smears. It's like, uh, uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't. But I love seeing other people use oil pastels. Let me know some of the mediums that, that y'all use. I see uh, we got some uh, folks who are using acrylic paints. What else are y'all using? I want to pull this over so that I'm not like looking so far off. But I don't know. We'll, we still sort of vibing out. Um, 
Hey, hey, you said you wanted to pop in. Oh, thank you so much. Look, all the things. You said you love it all. Energy, art, hair, personality. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you as well. I don't want to mispronounce your name, but thank you for being here. And I appreciate you for sharing that comment. Um, okay, yes. Erica's doing the crock pot. Okay, with the bean soup. That sounds delicious. Like, I love a good... That is like my go-to like winter but now we enter spring so now i'm getting into like more of my greens and fresh things but yeah like a big crock pot of beans or chili that's really my thing like a sweet potato chili i love that and i know babe are you are you listening to the chat if you if Abby's listening to the chat he's probably rolling his eyes as i'm talking about a crock pot my mom gave me a crock pot like seven years ago <laughs> and i have yet to use it but I have taken this crock, crock pot from every apartment and house that we have had for like a decade <laughs> at this point. And Annie's been like, babe, if you do not use this crock pot, I am going to trash it. I'm like, you, that, that is blasphemy, okay? You will never trash my mama crock pot. <laughs> Even if I don't use it. No, okay? You hear me, babe? <laughs> like this woman is crack pot anywho i love it um okay i'm so behind on this I, I mentioned this earlier but she said uh you've never used traditional oils i enjoy the gold oh nice yeah the golden opens is great yeah okay yeah they probably are different i got you they dry faster than traditional especially if you use the water soluble linseed oil good to know i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to give that a try the water soluble oils yeah, I love um, Opens, Golden's Open. Oh, happy birthday to the pup. Uh, I just, so Pamela, I just saw a bumper sticker on somebody's car that said, tell tell your dog I said hi or something. I was like, isn't that cute? I was like, clearly they are, they are a dog person. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. I love that y'all sending Danielle some love. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm way behind on the chat. But yeah, sending you some healing vibes as well, Danielle. You said you had to postpone it. I'm glad you're doing what you need for you, though. Like, priority self-care, taking care of yourself for sure. For sure. <laughs> us with the us versus them. I love it. Um. Oh, that's fun. You know, I want to do, like, a mural in the house. I think that would be so cool, Brian. Um... We have like just about every wall in the house is is a different color. Like we got we got sort of like what is it called? Like a feature wall. So the wall across from me that I'm looking at is like a plum purple. And then in the kitchen we have well like actually in the living room there it's like a green apple color on the wall. The hallway is a plum purple. Uh, the bedroom is more like a aqua teal green. So yeah, we <laughs> look we have done all the things. Just a name. Yes, you caught a live. You here. You are here. You said they go double platinum in my home. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, just a name. But you are more than just a name to me. Okay, go have to share with me um, your name. We got Philip in the house. Hey, Philip. You said any advice for getting into content creating? Um, that is a really good, a good question in regards to what aspect are you sharing your art? Like what, what sort of content would you like to create, Philip? Let me know. I'm, ha I'm happy to share y'all. Like I'm actually, I really love content creation as well. So happy to share or answer any questions. We have Nisi in the house. Hey, Nisi. Uh, you said, where's a good place to have my artwork placed on t-shirts? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I have never done t-shirts. So if there's anybody else who will recommend anything and want to put it in a chat, feel free. I do use quite a bit of print on demand companies though. So I've used Fine Art America before, Zazzle, Printful, Printify. Um, really though, I feel like before you do anything that you making it available to the world is to always do a proof. So any of the print on demand companies, want, like the sort of newer ones that I recommend now is Art of Wear, Printify, and Printful. Those are the those are sort of like the top three that I've really enjoyed. But um, I haven't done t-shirts, so I don't want to give you any give you any bad advice on that. What I recommend is uploading the image and then just buying one. You know, like buy one in multiple different colors or whatever design you want and test them out because each company is different. So um, I definitely I definitely recommend that. Um, you said I use color pencils with solvent. Oh, okay, that's super cool. That's super cool. <laughs> 
slow cook some beans. I love it. I love it. I love it. They do. They do. Yeah, but I really do like the, the crock pot. Yeah, the accent wall. Yep, that's the word, Philip. Yep. I love that just name. Oh, so like sending send so much love uh, to your wife. Let her know I said thank you. Okay, D'Angelo. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Great. Okay, you said... Um, this is Took, by the way. Am I saying it right? <laughs> um, but just, just vlogging while creating and showing the process. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, the channels that I love to follow are, um, y'all probably already know them, especially if you're thinking about content creation, but I'll share anyway. Uh, Think Media is the big one that I follow um, to share, like, content creation tips and really how to get started, even what cameras to use, like, everything. I definitely highly recommend Think Me. Can I put that in here? I probably can't. I don't know if I can like pin my own comments or like how that works. Um, definitely think media. Vanessa Lau is back, which is super exciting. But uh, Vanessa Lau is a content creator who shares tips on how to grow on YouTube, all the different things. She took a sabbatical. Now she's back um, and she is doing, she's doing the thing. Um, let me put her name in here. Vanessa Lau. Yeah, she's, she's super great. Um, Hey, the craft dealer. Hey, it's good to see you. You said you kind of suck at vlogging. You're trying to do better. <laughs> no. You know, and really a lot of it takes practice. I'm now entering um, 2024. So I'm entering my fourth year. Yeah, this is going to be like my fourth year sharing on YouTube. So, and like when you go back to my old videos, I, I was literally just looking at some of my old videos. I'm like, girl, what were you talking about? Like, why did you even include this? My editing style now, I leave, there's so much left on a cutting room floor. Like, I cut so much out. Y'all clearly know that I'm long-winded, okay? I talk a lot. I love to share. But I cut out so much. And before I did it, and I could even see, like, my older videos were, like, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. And I get it. You know, I get it. Some of the vlogger girls doing the, you know, 40-minute, 50-hour-long vlogs. Y'all, I'm not watching them. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I, I'm sorry. I, I like. Ain't nobody watching that that long. But some people are though. I'm remind. I'm reminded that some people are, and that's fine, and that's great. As a creator, I try to create more than I'm consuming. So if I'm watching something for an hour, then I have I have hit my max of consumption for the day. You know. Um, but yeah, the craft dealer. Like, just have fun with it. You know. You gon' you gonna get better with time. Um, and what's been really great is just hearing y'all feedback. You know, hearing hearing what y'all like and everything. So um, that'd be great. Um, you said, how do how do you know what to vlog or when to take out the camera to vlog something? Um, that's a great question. Um, I'm kind of, I'm always vlogging to tell you the truth. There is so much that doesn't ever make it to YouTube. That like, there, like literally, I just have my camera out earlier today of me just sitting at the computer. I'm like, oh, I might need this at some point for B-roll of like me sitting at the computer or whatever. So it's like, I'm just, I'm kind of always just filming. <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely always filming. And so um, I use my narrative portion as like a little bit of the main through line for my videos. And y'all probably see that like where I get to talk in and I'll cut it and go to something else and I'll pick back up with the talk or I'll talk and sort of lay B-roll over it. Pretty much my sort of conversation piece is like the core of it. And so that helps me figure out what sort of B-roll I should pull, what footage that I should that I should use. But um, yeah, it's really like an ebb and flow of trying to find your own style, you know. And so that's a, that's a style that I found that's worked uh, for me. Hey, Allie, Allie Overseas. That's the stage I'm in right now. The cringy figuring it out stage on YouTube. That's the best though. Like it's so, it's so fun. Like. I get to looking back at my own videos and just crack it up. I'm like, girl, first of all, like shout out to the bravery. Like just, it takes so much courage to show up as you learning and growing, you know? Like some of it, I was just like, girl, like the angles was wrong. Like I got the camera like up my nose. I'm clearly a wide mouth talker. You could damn near see like the back of my throat in some of the videos. I was like, Aramis, you are, this is crazy. But it's beautiful because like some of y'all have been with me through through that journey. Even Danielle, Danielle, you've been here for for a while. So I really 
I really appreciate that. And I feel like those are the people who are going to be with you throughout the journey. I mean, because now I'm at I'm at 12K. I can only imagine when I'm at 100K. But I'm like, I remember y'all names, you know, because because this is like the still early phase where I'm still able to like show up live. I'm still able to, to reply to comments, you know, like I get it when creators get big and it gets to a certain point where like you can't you can't reply to comments. But that's sort of like cringy figuring it out phase. I feel like that's where you build your like A1 day ones. That's where you build a like super fans, you know, for y'all to even be here. I'm just like, yeah, so I'm, I'm clocking y'all names. OK, look, all, all y'all have been here before 100K and I love this. But yeah, Ali, definitely, definitely keep going if it's something that you are passionate about. Um, oh, oh, I'm OK. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, wait. I wanted to go back up to, okay, look at me. I'm getting behind. Okay, then you, you said 10 to 15 minutes is my sweet spot when I'm editing. Yeah, yeah, I feel that because <laughs> I used to edit for so long and I'm like, girl, this video does not have to be 40 minutes. Like half of this you could have cut out. Like that wasn't of any value <laughs> to to anybody, you know? And like, clearly y'all know I'm, I'm goofy. I just be having fun, you know? So some of it is like a little a fun moment for me. I'm like, girl, take that out. You clearly was on your own little goofy rant. The whole world don't need to see that, you know. So even though I still leave in some of my little rants, a lot of them I take out. Y'all, I'll be like, girl, you doing the most. But yeah, Philip, you saying that you um, the editing is a killer for me. I like. I feel like so much of YouTube is editing in the beginning. Not in the beginning. Actually, throughout. If you, if you don't have an editor, now I say in the beginning because maybe later on somebody would get um, an editor and they would take care of that. But I feel like if somebody, like if you don't like editing, like you might want to reconsider YouTube. Like I, I feel like, I feel like if somebody, if you know with all the different like YouTube gurus out there, I'm like, I feel like people really need to be honest about how much YouTubers are editing. Like I've been able to be consistent on YouTube because I made a pivot in my mind that YouTube is about to be a part of my lifestyle. So my like life, like even Andy knows, and he pro he's probably listening this in the back, just not. And he's like, yep, she's editing every day. Like I'm literally editing every day. And if I'm not editing every day, then I'm like vlogging or recording myself or I'm organizing footage, you know? And so I feel like, we sort of see people on YouTube and stuff. And so the people who do this consistently, we we're, we we are weird. OK, <laughs> we are weird and we are obsessed with YouTube. And I think YouTube is a cult. And if the the content creators who've been on YouTube for years can agree that, yes, YouTube is a cult and the people who are consistent are the weird obsessive people and we like to edit <laughs> and so yeah if you aren't that person that's okay and i think it's good to learn sooner than later and also to not beat yourself up too because i think a lot of people are like oh i can't i can't da, da, da. i'm like yeah this is youtube is content create like youtubers we're weird we are we are a weird breed <laughs> we really are a weird breed of people um, I'm gonna come back down to some of y'all comments too. I love it. But, uh, Philip asks a great question. Do you get used to hearing your own voice? Um, the other weird thing, okay, like, I'm just like being so honest with y'all on this slide and I love this. Um, I talk to myself all day, like out loud, like, like even, even when the camera isn't on, somebody made a comment on one of the videos. They was like, it's crazy how you able to just like talk so casually, like we sitting in, in the room with you. I'm like, yeah, because I, I kind of do this all day. Like, I'm kind of talking to myself all day. And and Andy, well, he will be, because we get, like, my office is here. His is down the hall. And he'll be like, are you talking to me, babe? And I'm like, no, no, I'm just, I'm just, no, 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 no I'm just talking to her. He's like, okay. After a certain point, he kind of got it. He's like, oh, yeah, she's talking to herself, you know. But <laughs> I literally, I literally be talking to myself, um, listening to music, vibing out. But so do I get used to hearing my own voice? Um, it's still kind of weird though. It's it's still kind of weird. It's still kind of weird, like seeing yourself on the camera all day, hearing your own voice. Um, it's it's really great to have like in real life friends and experiences. I talk to my mom, my friends. I love hearing their stories because it can it can feel very um self absorbed sometimes. Like when you are 
you know, creating content and editing yourself and seeing yourself is like, okay, you get to a point where you're like, I'm tired of looking at my damn self. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm like, girl, how you doing? Are you good? You know, like, let me, let me, let me check on my strong friend, you know? So, yeah, I think that, um, that definitely helps. Um, yes, 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 we gotta definitely, it's really like building a virtual community. Um, and I'm so glad y'all are here and a part of that, a part of that support group. Um, yes, please do. Yes. Hey, hey, I'm, am I going, I'm probably going to butcher your name, but. Hey, please go, but like y'all, please sound off in the comments, okay? If y'all have the channel, cause that like I so be on that, I be comment creeping too on people. I'm like, okay, like who else got a channel? Like who's some other artsy black folks, y'all? Like yes, if you are sharing, please put it in the chat, um, so that we can all go follow you and subscribe. Now listen, y'all, don't be subscribing to people if you're not gonna watch their videos, okay? Do not like that. Actually, doesn't help people. What helps people is the view. So if you if you're gonna subscribe, actually watch their videos. Don't just be dead subscribers on people's channel, okay? <laughs> so, um, don't do not do like, you know, the whole subscribe for subscribe thing. That really doesn't help, okay? Um, yeah, Rachel, right? Yeah. I feel you. You said it takes a lot of bravery. I started getting anxiety where one of my first videos started to blow up a little. I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of views. <laughs> yeah, it can be scary. It, it can be scary. And especially if it's a video that you don't want to be like known for per se, um... I don't know if, if y'all know this quite yet, but I um, I unlisted my lock journey video. I didn't I didn't really make like a big ordeal about it. Part of me I didn't want to draw any more attention to that lock journey video, <laughs> but it was like creeping, creeping, creeping up. It was like so I think now the lock journey video is about um, at forty thousand views, and I love that. But I don't want to be a lock channel, you know, and I feel like. There's a real strategy with the algorithm where like energy grows where energy goes. And, and when, when we get to confusing the algorithm, you start getting people subscribing for one thing and not watching other type of videos. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to unlist this video. Like I'm totally fine losing the views, losing the money for it. But this isn't where like where I want to go with my channel. My channel is, is about my journey as an artist and about art. And um, yeah, and I was just, a little tired of the what oil like what shampoo how many like I'm like yeah <laughs> because when I when I when I cut this off at some point I'm still gonna be here I'm I'm still gonna be me I'm still gonna be an artist and I'm still gonna want to share my art so I really didn't want anything we building on solid rock not sinking sand okay uh, but yeah no it can it can definitely be scary when a video grows so for me I'd be like yeah we about to we about we about to we about to nip this in the bud. Um, <laughs> look, I look, bigger. that's how I felt them to get it too. I'm like, oh my God, like people are subscribing. Like it is a pure, it's a pure blown miracle, miracle. Let me get caught up a little bit. Cause I saw April's in the chat. Hey, hey, April, how have you been? It is so great to see your name here. Yes. Oh, Shamika from Facebook. Hey, hey. You said Little Miss Sunshine. Oh my goodness. It is so great to see, look, virtually see you. Oh my God, April. It is so great to see you um, because we were like winding down on, on, on some of the create dates. So I hadn't seen you for the create dates. And so now it's great to still go live on YouTube and we can still connect. So I'm so glad you are here. Let me let me go down, make sure I'm not mentioning, um, not missing some of this. Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear you good. Yes. Okay. For real, Brianna. Yes. The algorithm will definitely lock you in. And you know, you start to like, when a video does do good, you kind of like, like, okay, maybe I should make another one. I'm like, wait, no, 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 you shouldn't. <laughs> that, no, you should. That's not what you came here for. You came to share your art, not, not your hair, you know? So it, it, it also is like a moment where you need to like assess your own values and like assess like why you're here. You know what I mean? And like why you share, right? <laughs> a pure blow miracle. It do be. You know, yeah, no, it's it's super fun. Um, yeah, thank you, Philip. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, yeah, I really, I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm I'm from Chicago. I love Chicago, the Midwest. Uh, but I've been out here in Seattle. It is a, is it eleven years now? Which is so crazy. Yeah, I moved out here in 2013, and so it's been it's been super fun doing it. Um, <laughs> yeah you know it's still it's still live i mean well it's not live but it's still in a playlist 
So yeah, you can definitely still see the lock journey video. Um, it's just unlisted. So if somebody watches a play, I think there's like the playlist, the sort of get to know me playlist. Um, I kept it in there because then like when I unlisted it, it was still getting views. And so I'm like, how is this video still? I'm like, where are these views coming from? Like, I thought I unlisted this video. So be careful, y'all. If you unlist the video, people might still be watching it. Because when you put a card, like, you know, you can sort of, you know, how when you're watching a video, another little video pops up that's called the iCard. So if you put it there or if you put it on your end screen or if you pin it in the comments or pin it in your description, people can still see that video. So the only way they can't see it is if you completely private the video. So, yeah, I was like, where did the video where are these views coming from so i'm okay with people still viewing the video because it's it's honestly one of my favorite videos and i thought about it for months if i was going to take this video down um because i love the video so much people love the love the video so much um oh here it is let me share the playlist with you okay let me go back to your yeah i was like man am i really about to take down this video but i was like okay yeah here's the playlist um yeah, I don't know how it if how it looks on y'all end if y'all able to see the link. But anywho, there's playlists on my channel and there's one called Get to Know Me and the Lock Journey video is in that. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I'm cool with people seeing the video, but I want them to sort of like already be in my ecosystem and not sort of finding me from that video and then like wanting me to talk about more, more lock stuff, you know? Um, yeah 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 totally yeah well, y'all can still see the video which is totally totally fine but it's taken down from like my videos list you know you can just only see it from a playlist um yeah okay let me go back up i was kind of all unorganized okay okay ali you asked do you plan your content i do i do i plan it in notion notion is like a um I was going to say task management tool. That's not that's not the right word. Let me check in really quick with my Instagram people. Um, hey, Graham fam. <laughs> oh, you, OK. Babe. I didn't even see you were commenting on Instagram. Babe. Uh, so Andy just commented. I just ignore her all the time. Now. Uh, ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? All right. So I'm hanging out. I'm still going to be hanging out with y'all over here on YouTube, but just letting my Graham fam know if you following this on Instagram um, it's gonna cut off because they can only have me on Instagram for an hour and we sort of enter in that hour mark but yeah thank y'all so much on Instagram join me over here on YouTube by clicking the link in my bio okay awesome so I'm ending it there with Instagram and I'm just gonna keep on vibing out with y'all on YouTube um, I am going to be wrapping up soon, though. So if y'all do have any more questions, I am so happy to answer them. But yeah, just answer Alice's question. I do plan my content in Notion. So I have, yeah, I mean, there's there's so many. The other person who I really like who helps me plan content is Vanessa Lau, how I mentioned, but also um, Millie. What's, what's Millie's sort of thing? Modern Millie. Modern Millie on Instagram. Okay, cool, cool. On YouTube, I'm sorry. Yeah, so hope I hope that helps. Um, I am lost here. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if that helps. Let me know if y'all have any more questions. I'm going to be wrapping up soon. Okay. Okay, Sassy, you're nice. You say you're going to be starting your, your channel too. Yeah, let me know what it's going to be about. Is it going to be like vlogs? Are you sharing your art, your poetry? Are you writing? Let me know. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I really appreciate that. Like, thank you for appreciating us. I feel like people, people do not know what what we doing behind the scenes. Like, it is crazy. And I think that's what that's what can be so hard for new creators because it's like I just spent ten hours editing this thing and it only got twelve views. Are you kidding me? It's like, yeah, y'all. Like, you gotta you gotta disconnect your emotions from the views. Like, you just have to. You just, you just have to, you know, it really just has to be like, you know what, this is going to be my lifestyle. I'm just about to create and I'm about to share. Whoever watches it, watches it. Whoever doesn't, does it. Like, but I just know for me, I'm going to show up every week as much as I can, you know. And it really takes some mental fortitude to divorce from the numbers when you think about how much time we do commit to this. Um, but yeah, we weird. <laughs> we weird, okay. 
straight up i love it okay cool sharing that with y'all yes yes erica you have a good night thank you so much for joining me it was so great having you here good night y'all um yeah for real right yeah thank you philip thank you for being here thank you for your questions i really appreciate that um oh Tilly brandon oh my god you are kidding <laughs> oh i love it Oh my God. Wow. Hey, Brandon. Oh my goodness. It is so good to see you here in the chat. Look, you have like text me. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like, feel it. Wow. Oh, look, we got fam in the house. That's so dope. I love it. Um, okay, wait. We had a question though. I wanted to come back up. You said you'll be you'll be reacting to movies based off books and comparing the two. Oh, very cool. I love that. Yeah, check out some like reaction videos. Maybe they can give you inspiration on how 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 you want to format that. Um, old school karate guy. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the love. All right. Yeah, my my pleasure, Pamela. And thank you for being a patron. Thank you for like everything you do and everything you are, Pamela. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, again, this stream is brought to you by people and patrons like Pamela who have been really supporting my journey um, as an artist and so I was streaming every month with them on Patreon and so now I'm just bringing it down to once a quarter over here publicly on the YouTube so whether you are a patron or not we can still vibe and we can still connect and chat and I'm just still here for y'all um, but of course if you would like to go the extra mile and contribute to my work you can definitely become a patron all of that is available in the in the description um, of this video. I'll also put it here. But yeah, just sending so much love to my patrons. Yes, have a good night, Danielle. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a patron as well. Thank you, Siobhan. Thank you, Ra. Thank you, all of my patrons who are here on the live stream with me tonight. And the craft dealer. Yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, you got you to gotta do it for the joy of it. Okay, my pleasure. Um... Oh, should be I love it. You say are we are we getting are we getting more backyard bathtub diaries coming <laughs> coming this season? Yes, y'all. I'm gonna be back in the bathtub. Okay. Yes, as the warmer weather comes, I'm gonna be getting out in the yard doing the thing. So yes, still tune in with me over here on YouTube. Um, and of course, if you are on Facebook, you can always join me on YouTube as well. But thank y'all so much for vibing out with me. Mark your calendars for the next one. I'm going to do this every quarter. So every season, happy spring to y'all. The next one is going to be June 20th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. Tune in with me then. Um, and make sure y'all check out some of the other videos on the channel. I'm trying to get them up on the weekends, maybe Sundays. Like typically it's going to be like Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, you know, check, check the channel around that time. You can definitely expect a new vlog at some point, but, um, yeah, yeah. Thank y'all so much. I'm glad y'all connected as well. Y'all look, follow each other, check out each other's channel. I'm going to have to go over here, check out Allie overseas and the crafter, the craft dreamer dealer. Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad you was able to use, uh, the art vault. Yeah, they have free art supplies, y'all. If you are in Seattle, they give out they give out great things. Happy spring, Tam. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, I hope y'all have a good night. Yeah, good night, Chellis. Was I saying your name right too? Oh, so, um, hey, Ron. Look, you said, oh my God, you're live. Yeah, I'm actually. Ju we are just winding down for the night. Okay, so you just caught us at the end. I will be keeping this up for um the replay that y'all can feel free to tune in to we was just vibing yeah we're just talking about art actually it, it turned into content creation as well so yeah um, i'm gonna leave this up for the replay but yeah y'all have a great night yes yes my pleasure my pleasure All right good night shells okay shells okay thank you okay so now i know because next time you're gonna laugh i'm gonna be like hey shells okay i love it um I love it. Good night. Good night. Good night, Brianna. Good night. Oh, great. Thanks for sharing, Shamika. Awesome, y'all. And of course, if you all would like to become a patron, uh, there's more info about the perks of it as well um, in the description of this video. Okay, so I would love to have you all join me over there on Patreon. Uh, and I hope you all have a great night. And that's perfect timing because the Sassy Cinephile, the pasta is done. Okay, 
Enjoy your food. Y'all enjoy your night. And I will see you all next time. Happy spring.